watching so as you can't tell today I'm turned myself into Harley Quinn uh, so this is the movie's look obviously in the comic book she looks a little bit different like she wears like a black and white suit and like just a top hat and black mask but this is the movie version uh, that is coming out very soon I think in August so uh, yes so I hope you enjoy watching if you want to see how I achieve this Harley Quinn look then uh, just keep watching okay so starting off with my base I'm gonna be using um the perfect blur five second smoothing base protector by Garnier my foundation I'm gonna use Outlast Day Fabulous by CoverGirl in the color buff beige for my concealer I'm gonna use my NARS radiant creamy concealer in the color Vanilla. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a cheap sponge that I thought I'd try. I like this. It's kind of like a $2 shop, sort of. Very weird, like squishy and spongy, not nice and bouncy. And at the moment, can you hear that? It's making a moan. Like a tapping noise. Right to. Self, don't buy shit sponges for makeup. Cleaning things, it kind of feels like I'm melting some sort of spongy sex toy on my face. <laughs> okay, so just going with my e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder and just a tapered highlighting contour brush. I'm going to set my concealer. Taking my candlelight um, softly humidite illuminating translucent powder and kabuki brush just setting my foundation this is just popping on some eyebrows I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hill dip brow pomade in taupe and her uh, eyebrow brush okay so I'm it's really hard to tell in the pictures but she looks like she's got pink on one eye uh, well, pinky red and then blue on the other and then quite like heavy black liner or whatever around the eyes so I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette today Ooh. and taking the I'm going to use the blue Star Power and Expensive for the colours so I'm just going to set my concealer first just going in with uh, China White Okay, then taking an angled eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go in with the colour Star Power. And it looks like she's kind of like it's slapped on. Like it doesn't look very precise, I guess. So, just putting that sort of through the crease and above it. Okay, so I'm just kind of just like done it in a sweeping motion motion right across like sort of like that if you can see missing this part of the eyebrow here. I'm not doing it real rounded, I'm doing it more probably straight I guess. Get a little bit of uh, Courtney and just help blend that colour a bit. Okay, I'm just going to take a bit more of China White and sort of try and bring that colour a bit further down so it's not so up in my brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on the lid and taking that colour under my eye like that. So I should have just gone under and connected it up the top here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other side and I'm going in with expensive which isn't matte but let's see how it goes I'm too shiny but hey I'm going to break the rules here I'm going in with another blue anyway Oh, that's pretty Taking a fluffy blush blush whatever brush Courtney again. Blend that out a bit. I'm 
Okay. Now, of course, I'm going in with Take Me To My Take Me To Brazil palette. And I'm gonna go in with, uh, I think, uh, this blue here, sort of teal color. And add that in there. Taking this pink color here. Doing the same thing. I add in a bit of red. So this is a red here. And a bit more depth because she's quite a strong. I think it looks more ready. So you don't have to be too precise because her makeup is like. So like in general, she's kind of quite messy. <laughs> like she's not supposed to look, you know, perfect and put together. You blend up too high, just add in some transitional like white colour or something. Helps to diffuse it and bring it down a bit too much. Bring it, sorry, bring it down more. Now I'm going to take this tapered top eyeshadow brush by Exo Beauty and start tapering the colour down a bit like in streaks like she's got in the picture. So just taking some more star power. Dragging it out. she's got in the movie but whatever this is inspired okay so it doesn't have to be perfect just taking this eye of Horus uh, it's kind of smudged off but black eyeliner and going on top of my lash line and before that steps I'm gonna go in with a smaller blender brush and go in with the black rainbow and start smudging that that liner because her liner looks extremely smudged in the pictures and then uh, doing your upper and lower waterline and then taking the black Again, same brush and just smudging that out on the lower lash line. Okay, all inside of an eyeball. Lovely. Okay, so this isn't really part of it, but I'm just going to highlight my brow bone in a little bit of my inner corner with uh, Princess because I feel like it. I just feel like it needs something up there. So basically with this look, just keep adding blue and pink and keep blending until you're happy. And you know, until your lines on your face are pretty happy. So it doesn't look like she's wearing lashes. Oh, something in my eye. So I'm just gonna pop mascara on. So top and bottom. Okay, so Make sure when you put your mascara on that you coat your lashes quite heavily so they're nice and black. I'm going to do some, well, try and do some contouring. I probably should have done it before I did the, you know, that on the side because we're just going to mess it up now. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to use Benefit um, all the Bronzer. Contouring because Harley Quinn actually has like quite deep set cheekbones like gaunt sort of okay so now all you need to do you don't need blush because she's very pale and she's not wearing any blush so I'm gonna go in with she's wearing like a red lipstick so I'm gonna go in with a mixture of max uh, matte 
Russian Red, and then Jeffree Star's Rich Blood. Um, so, I'm just going to pop those on. Then, Rich Blood, more so in the center. I just realized I forgot something. Um, her love heart on this cheek. So I'm going in with just a liquid liner. This is uh, Essence 2 in 1 eyeliner pen, thin side. I'm just gonna draw a love heart. About here, I think it's got it. You can literally just put your hair in pigtails, um, curl it. Then I'm gonna put in um, some colored hairspray. So I'm using blue and pink. So just spray those on the end. Do you like my t-shirt I'm actually wearing though? <laughs> Easy. I will be some purpose. Isn't that good? So this is the top that I made. So I just got an old white t-shirt um, and just painted the red bit and wrote Daddy's Little Monster. And then if you have a bat or a hammer, but I don't have either of those. So what I'm Harley Quinn, who has a golf club. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, so I know to do more. And subscribe to my channel, see, because I've got lots of more exciting videos to come and it keeps you updated. And until next time, 